And the final fibre we've got to look at this time is hemp. Um, hemp is from the cannabis plant, but it's not the cannabis plant that gives you the cannabis that contains the things, the stuff you like to smoke or that can be used for pain control and lots of different medications. Um, it's the stuff, it doesn't have the same amount of the CBD oil in it. Um, this stuff is grown over in China, and again, it's a really lovely fibre, and for ba all basic purposes, you're going to treat it just like you would treat flax that you would spin into linen. Um, hemp's a fibre that's been spun for a cute, incredibly long time. It's a really ancient textile. And I'm going to recommend that you spin it in the opposite direction, so that your main drive wheel is going anti-clockwise, which means you're spinning it with S-twist, and you then ply Z, which is the opposite direction that you would spin for wool. And apparently it's to do with the direction of the twist on the individual fibres, so they like it better, apparently. If you are interested in spinning this and learning more about these based fibres, because this one is just like um, linen in that sense, there's an edition of Ply Magazine, which is the um, flax edition, and that's an excellent read. It's where I picked when I went and read it before sitting down to spin these for you to give you some idea. Now there's two different colours because we've got the two different editions. We've got the lilac was in Dolomites and this orangey colour which was in, um, no sorry, the lilac in Venice and this orangey one which was in Dolomites. They are slightly different because they will have come from different batches of plants. They have different staple lengths. So that's the lilac one. It's slightly longer and it feels like a slightly finer fibre. The orange one is slightly shorter, slightly clumpier. It's just how it goes with, with natural plant fibres, different batches from different growing seasons. They come out ever so slightly differently. But you still need to bear in mind that staple length when you're spinning them. In essence, this would be more like spinning um, linen tau or tome rather than um, the linen strick. So you're going to need to set up your wheel with the spinning big wheel, drive wheel turning anti-clockwise. So I just need to empty a bobbin. 